they drop in CTC. CTC is what they promote. And whenever they can, they drop an idea about CTC. They provide some general oversight, but they also open doors so policymakers hear and think about opportunities to fund CTC. So they provide access to people, places, resources, information. They're really a champion and they need to influence the funding policy and strategic direction of Warrnambool. Those key leaders, if you feel CDC is going off the rails, you need to be talking to your key leaders and saying, look, we need more funding. And I'm sure there are lots of people in the room here today that would want to invest in CTC. And I would hope today that they'd see that CTC is an important thing in Warrnambool and is well worth investing because it's got the runs on the board <coughs> overseas and here the early signs are promising. <coughs> And they're vital for ensuring that CTC becomes core business. They're fabric of the community. The board basically includes running the day-to-day -day stuff. It does the work necessary to keep the CTC on track. They attend meetings. They run training. They attend trainings and workshops. Each of those five phases, CTC offers technical training assistance. We run workshops. Hold those workshops for those members, for the relevant members, to attend those workshops to understand what each of those phases are about what the bench shows and milestones for each of those phases are and how they monitor and achieve all those. <clears throat> Once they've got themselves organised, they collect the survey, we've got the results from one round of the survey and we've already designed, we've already identified where the risk factors are and what the outcome behaviours you want to target. But there's another step that you need to do and that is saying, okay, we've got these risk factors, we've got these behavioural problems, what are the services we have here? Do we actually have the services to pull off targeting those risk factors or targeting those behaviours? So what they also do is do an assessment of the local resources and the data that they get, other data that they gather in the community, and they use that to form the community profile and to make strategic decisions on what to target, what to invest in, <coughs> and how to move forward. So as we said, this has already been covered. In year six, eight, and ten, we covered as parent consent is required.